Uh, good morning. Uh, today I'm going to show you the various steps that are required in order to run a CCS program. So these steps could be applied for any program and in order to do that I'll show you the procedure. Uh, first you need to open the version 6 of CCS and then you need to browse the location where you want to store. Uh, the best location for you to store this is in the desktop. So you can just click on the desktop and then make a new folder in that and create the name which you want and then click OK. So since I already created one folder here, it's not required to create it again. And so I run this program first. So we have to wait for some time. So let me first delete all the things that I've did. Uh, so I let me show you the first step. So you need to go to the file and go to new and then select the target configuration first and you can create anything but make sure that cc xml file is there so you just create something like one two three and you click on finish so now the target configuration is uh, is has started now you need to select the texas instrument simulator which is present in the connection so you'll be finding it here uh, and after you're done with that you need to check for the little in andian or something i don't know that uh, and you need to select the C6713 device ac uh, cycle accurate simulator little Indian and then you need to save it so this this is done and now you need to go to the advanced option and then click on T, uh, TMS this one and here you will see that uh, it is not in the correct location now so this is uh, this is the location initially and what you need to do is you need to browse it and then go to CCS Studio uh, 3.1 and CC and Gel and after you go to that and you need to select DSK6713 Gel and you need to save it so after you are done with the save uh, you need to uh, go and create a new project so in order to do that you need to go to the file uh, go to new and then click on other uh, here by default it would be in this way uh, where if you don't open the CCS now what you need to do is you need to first open the CCS code composer studio software and then CCS project and click on next and you can create one name here so I'll create one two three four the file that I created before was just one two three and you need to give a different name here and after that you need to select the uh, target which is uh, C671 uh, this one floating point DSP and here you need to select the third option which is TMS 320C6713 and here you need to select the spectral uh, analyzer um, emulator I'll show you where it actually is so this is the option spectral digital DSK EBM EZDSP onboard USB emulator so after you are done with this, you just need to uh, click on finish. Now this is the program. I'll simply write a hello world program so that and the procedure is the same. You could apply it for any other uh, thing. Just give me two minutes, I'll complete it off. Yeah, this is a simple program where there are just three lines of code. And what you need to do after you're done with this is to save it. So in order to save, you need to go to the second option here, or you can either press Control plus S. So I'll save this program first. And after you're done with the save, what you need to do is you need to open the target configuration in order to open the target configuration what you need to suppose you are in the lab and you want to open the target configuration the first thing you need to do is to go to view and here you'll find a target configuration so if you click on that this this uh, this thing pops up and you need to select user defined uh, this thing and since I already created uh, a previous program what you need to do is first delete this program so uh, since there are two programs here you I'll just delete those first uh, 
okay uh, now I have this this one now I need to launch it first so I right click on it and launch selected configuration so after I'm done you may get an error but you shouldn't care about it and the next thing you need to do is you need to go to the file like project explorer uh, you may not have the project explorer in the lab and what you need to do is again go to the view and you will find a project explorer here so uh, you can right click on this and you can select build project now the project is built but there is one error I'll just see an error here oh yeah I forgot to give void main that's the most important thing don't forget to give void main yeah now I need to again run it because there's an error here uh, so what I need to do is again go to first I need to save this file uh, and after that I need to go to 123.xml and launch the selected configuration and yeah you know you need to terminate the previous one and in the same step again right click on this and click on build project so now you could see that there is 1234.out file so this file is created now you need to load this file in order to load this file you need to go to run and you need to click on load and here you'll find load program just click on it and you need to browse the location so I click on browse project and you can see 1234 as a file and you can go to the debug and then click this and okay and okay this is done now the build is finished and everything is done so the next thing I need to do is just to resume the project you can either press resume here or you can either press F8 or you can go to the run option and press resume so I'll press this resume and see the output is present in the console